If you weave the fiber from the Rumney plant strand by strand, you get fabric as white as snow and as delicate as dragonfly wings. This legacy is passed down from mother to daughter and daughter-in-law. Moshi, or fine rami cloth of Hanzan, is completed after some 4,000 steps by hand and is the essence of an arduous life generation after generation. The last stage of making moshi was usually done in a humid place, like a hut. Because it is brittle when it is dry, it is essential to maintain a certain level of humidity. In the sweltering, wet summer, sweat rolls down the nose and covers the whole body. But no amount of sweat or heat can stop the weaving. Hansan, Sochon County, South Chungcheong Province. This is where the West Sea wind blows and the Kum River meets the foot of the Chaoyang Mountains on the south side. Hansan is the perfect place for moshi that thrives in humidity. Thread made from the fully grown rami plant is as white as snow. It has a delicate and soft texture and pure white color. Elegant and flowing, moshi from Hansan is by far the best moshi of all. To weave a roll of moshi requires meticulous attention to minute details. Rami is harvested when it is two meters high. Usually three times a year between May and the end of October. Leaves are stripped off and the stalks are collected. A special knife and saw are used to peel the outer skin from the stalk. And the inner fibers are what they call temoshi. Temoshi is cleaned and tied in bunches of 20 to 30 strands, all ready for drying. Temoshi is repeatedly soaked in water and dried in the sun, and is finally bleached as white as snow. Well dried, White temoshi is now ready to be split into fine strands. Women use their teeth and lips to split the strands into fine threads. Splitting enough threads for a roll of moshi fabric takes a full month. The threads painfully cut into the lips and tongue. A master weaver has calluses on her lips and tongue after a lifetime of weaving. After splitting, the strands are hung between two low upright poles called junji. The short threads are taken from the junji, laid on the lap, and spliced together by rubbing them between the palm and the knee to make one long strand of thread that is collected in a pot. The consistency and balance in this crucial process determines the quality of the moshi.
The weaver must find the end of the thread from ten pots. She then threads the ten strands through the josulte, a ten-hole spool rack, and pulls them through with the left hand and uses the right hand to string them around the natu, a long wooden frame. The length of a roll is set and the thread count determined by the desired number of se, a unit of 80 threads. The greater the number of se, the better the moshi is in quality. These warp threads are taken off the frame and made into a number of loops. The next step is carried out on a clear sunny day without any wind. The strands are passed through the holes of a comb-shaped spool called body and stretched over a frame. The weaver quickly and repeatedly applies starch made of beans to the thread. To dry the starch, a fire pot is set under a stone tray under the strands of thread. Traditionally, the chaff and bean husks are used to make a low, gentle fire. After starching, the threads are smooth and glossy. After all of the preparatory processes, the weaver uses the loom to interlace the weft and warp to complete the moshi. Moshi is truly the fruit of long hours of arduous labor. Traditionally, weaving has been the responsibility of women. In Hanzan, women work together to grow and harvest the rami, and spin and weave the thread into fabric. For hundreds of years, the bond between the women in the village grew stronger with time. The legacy of this efficient system of cooperation has been passed down to this day. Yeah, 집 안에서 시원한 잔참 선풍기도 있고 에어컨도 있으니까 밤에 이렇게 혼자들 하시는데 옛날 어른들은 에어컨도 없고 하니까 밖에 마당에서 웬 동네 아주머니들이 한 마당 앉아서 모닥불 목이 오니까 목이 그 모닥불 펴놓고 그렇게들 막 웃으면서 또 이렇게 스트레스도 풀고 또 시집살이 한 얘기 그런 말씀들을 하시면서 한마당 앉아서 이렇게 옛날부터 이렇게 하셨다고. Moshi is traced back to the Three Kingdoms era. The loom improved with time, but the process of making moshi is the same as it was 1500 years ago. Hansan Moshi gets glossier with the passage of time. The translucent elegance is slow to fade. White Moshi of Hansan is easily dyed in rich colors, but once dyed, it does not fade easily. Hansan Moshi is characterized by the unbleached skirt and short white blouse. As delicate as dragonfly wings, moshi, now in a rainbow of colors and various designs, is used by luxury brands around the world. Hansan Moshi is the legacy of women who devoted their lives in tears and sweat to creating ethereal beauty. <laughs>